Welcome back to X Debrief, the official X Defiant show. I'm your host, Yusuf Garcia McGee, and we have a massive season two reveal episode for you today. We'll be diving deep into the new Highwaymen faction, showing off the three new weapons, giving you an inside look into bomb mode, talking private matches, unveiling the first new map of the season, and giving you a look at some of the updates coming down the road. All right, now, I am not just here to tell you what's coming, we're here to show you what's coming. Here's everything you can expect from season two. Season two is bringing some banger updates, y'all, and we're gonna talk about all of them in depth, but we gotta start with our new Highwaymen faction. Highwaymen don't ask, we take. These are the Highwaymen, ruthless survivors from post-apocalyptic Hope County, Montana led by twin sisters Mickey and Lou. Our pops told us people either make problems or solve them. If you're a problem solver, we got you covered. Highwaymen are cocky and lethal, rushing into battle with a whole lot of firepower. Firepower like the M79 grenade launcher, which does pretty much what you'd expect. Or like their scrap turret, an automated machine gun that rains hell on enemies. Highwaymen revel in chaos, so their rate of fire and reload speed ramps up as they rack up kills. And to top it all off, they brought their saw launcher to the party. High pace, high damage, no mercy. This is what the Highwaymen are all about. A little rabbit got the move. Ruthless, yet resourceful. Colorful, but chaotic. The apocalyptic marauders of Hope County are ready to go on a rampage in season two of X Defiant. We're here to give you a faction rundown on their destructive trait, abilities, and ultra of our newest faction, the Highwaymen. The Highwaymen are a ragtag group of bikers with a colorful sense of style and scrappy ingenuity. Their miscreant gang consists of Paolo, an obnoxiously cocky grifter from South America whose stripped down but ruthless attitude saw him thrive in the post-apocalyptic world of 2035. Lil T, the son of a notorious pro linebacker before the apocalypse that not only picked up his father's nickname on the field, but also his ability to inflict some career-ending injuries and Nova, an ambitious highwayman who's only ever known her crew as she's collected deadly skills and kept a keen eye on taking over as leader. They've not only survived, 
but dominated the wasteland by employing indiscriminate lethal force wherever they go. The Highwayman's passive is Revved. As you rack up consecutive kills, this passive will ramp your rate of fire and reload speed, making you a snowballing monster on the battlefield. Your passive appears at the bottom of your screen to indicate its current state. You'll start at medium following your first kill, followed by high with your second, and finally maximum after four kills. Dying will reset the stacks on your passive. The two abilities in your arsenal are Scrap Turret and the M79. While it might look like a hunk of junk, the Scrap Turret is a deployable turret with 360 degrees of coverage. It's the perfect companion to set up and give you and your team some cover fire while you take or hold down an objective. The M79 is fairly straightforward. It's a grenade launcher. You see an enemy? Blow him up. See a phantom shield? Blow it up. See an objective? Blow that up. Spider bot? Definitely blow that up. You'll get two shots with it. After using both shots or upon switching, it will be placed on cooldown. Their ultra is the Soul Launcher. As chaotic a creation as the people wielding it, this weapon launches buzzsaw blades that ricochet off the walls, making it a close quarters nightmare for the enemy team. These saw blades will remain bouncing around the area for a small period of time before they are destroyed. We've laid out the basics, so now let's talk about how you can utilize the Highwaymen's kit. Revved is a dream passive for those looking to drop a bomb in their next match. Getting consistent kills means you're gaining valuable free stats to your weapons. If you're feeling confident in stacking your passive, you can drop the attachments focused on reload speed and rate of fire from your build, and opt for other important stats like decreased recoil, expanded magazine capacity, or increased movement speed. The Scrap Turret is the perfect wingman for holding objectives or raining bullets onto your enemies from an unexpected angle. Its relatively low profile means if thoughtfully placed, you can overwhelm a charging enemy before they even know what hit them. Try placing it under low walls or vantage points overlooking high traffic lanes of the map. Clearing out a congested area is the M79's greatest strength. Use it to clear out clustered enemies or any placed abilities hindering your team's progress. You'll find that the drop off for this ability is pretty harsh, so aim high if you're going long. Otherwise, you'll find it best used at medium range. At close range, you'll have difficulties exploding anything, though it can be used to deal pretty significant damage to a single enemy if you hit them directly. Finally, the Saw Launcher is best used in close quarters combat. A direct hit with it will kill most base health enemies. If you find your enemy holed up somewhere, you can cause a bit of chaos by launching it into the walls of the room and giving them some blades of whirling death to worry about before you go in to confirm the kill. The Highwaymen are a force to be reckoned with, offering a multitude of ways you can punish your enemies with overwhelming force. These are just a few ways you can use them, but we'd love to hear about the ways you plan on using them. Tag at PlayXDefiant on Twitter or use the hashtag FactionRundown to share your strategies with us or join our official Discord to discuss it with other members of the community. That's it for our Faction Rundown, though. Good luck out there, and brace yourself for the Highwaymen. Okay, a grenade launcher, an auto turret, a saw launcher? The Highwaymen are bringing the heat in Season 2, y'all. And speaking of heat, Season 2's free battle pass includes three new weapons, the PP-19 SMG, the L-86 LMG, and the Spaz-12 shotgun. Here's everything you need to know about them. Hey everyone, my name is CC Smith and I'm Associate Director of Live Operations at Ubisoft San Francisco. Today, I'm excited to walk you through our upcoming Season 2 weapons. Our fifth SMG, the PP-19, occupies a unique space within the class. While our current submachine guns focus on movement speed and rate of fire as their main strengths, the PP-19 focuses on damage and accuracy. The PP-19 has the highest damage and headshot multiplier of any SMG and tops its class with the fewest shots to kill. We've coupled the increased damage with a large magazine, longer ranges, and a more consistent recoil pattern. And these unique characteristics mean the PP-19 is perfect for players who love the feel of SMGs, but prefer a more controlled pace of play. Solve that problem. 
One loadout option that we've seen work well for this weapon is increasing its range by combining the barrel extender with the chrome lined barrel. Another attachment combo the team likes is pairing the muzzle booster with the rapid fire barrel which increases the PP19's rate of fire. When rounding out your loadout, the quick mag and the fast mag are both good options for speeding up the PP19's reload time. And if you're looking to improve mobility, the quick draw grip, fabric grip, and the folded stock will do the trick. With the LAV6, we wanted to introduce a faster option to the light machine gun weapon class. It features a bullpup design, making it more compact and allowing players to run faster, aim faster, and shoot faster than the heavyweight LMGs that are currently available. This focus on speed and handling gives the L86 a more assault rifle-like feel and offers a totally unique experience within the LMG class. It's the perfect weapon for players looking for a middle ground between the AR and LMG classes. While the L86 does less damage and holds less ammo than the other LMGs, it has one of the fastest times to kill between 30 and 45 meters. This makes it a very strong option when playing on both linear game modes and bigger arena maps like Mayday, Attica Heights, and Liberty. When creating a loadout for the L86, there are two predominant schools of thought. Either lean into its strengths by improving its rate of fire and mobility with attachments like the rapid fire barrel and the super light grip, or you can offset its weaknesses with the vertical grip and the extended magazine. Attachments that pair well with the L86 include the muzzle booster, rapid fire barrel, super light grip, and the lightweight stock, all of which lean into the weapon's strengths. The L86 is also versatile in that you can opt to increase its range with attachments like the barrel extender and the chrome lined barrel, or you can increase the size of the magazine with the extended mag. The iconic SPAS-12 is our fourth shotgun and immediately carves its own space among the class favorites. The core stats place it between the AA-12 and the M870 and it offers a powerful mix of the strengths and weaknesses of both. As a semi-automatic shotgun, it's capable of one-shot kills but truly excels in situations that require a second shot to finish off an opponent. While a bit cumbersome to carry and reload, the SPAS-12 stands out as a bold and relentless option for players that want to embody their favorite action heroes. It's especially strong on smaller maps with tighter engagement ranges like Arena, Echelon HQ, and Showtime. The best options for improving range are the Choke and Barrel Extender. We've found that by combining these attachments with the Remove Stock allows you to better manage that distance to your opponents. This weapon has improved spread while aiming, so there's also value in adding attachments that increase the ADS walking speed. We can't wait for you to get your hands on these new weapons and to see the loadouts that you come up with. Let us know in the comments what your favorite weapons are. Is this the season I become an LMG guy? Mm, probably not, but maybe you will. Now, earlier in our season one reveal, we gave you a tease at the new upcoming bomb mode. Well, today we're fully revealing it and giving you an inside look into what makes Bomb so unique. Look, if you had one shot, one opportunity to seize the bomb and plant it, would you capture it or let it slip? Well, get ready for that opportunity because X Defiant's new One Life mode, Bomb, is coming in Season 2. In Bomb, Two teams of six will be split into attackers and defenders and switch sides every round. Attackers will be tasked with picking up the bomb and planting it at one of two locations, while defenders try to prevent the bomb from being planted, or defuse it once it's been planted. Eliminating the opposing team will automatically win you the round, except in the instance when attackers have already planted the bomb, in which case defenders will still need to defuse it to win. The first team to win six rounds wins the entire match. Of course, with only one life per round, tension is at an all-time high, and strategy and communication are more important than ever. A well-placed shock wire, revealing intel soup scan, or a cheeky spider bot deployment can be the difference between a win and a loss. There's a lot of people asking for a one life tactical mode. And so we're, we're trying to deliver on that. We want players to take all things, not just the match into consideration, but like the loadouts and their faction abilities and the gadgets they use and you know how they're gonna coordinate as a team. Map positioning is key. You need to be able to hold down power positions. And so 
looking at approaches to bombs. Since there's two sites, you, you kind of have to split your focus. As the other team, they can even you know use counter tactics. They can set a diversion. Abilities are huge. I think ADS is going to be a sleeper pick uh, for abilities. You know, being able to put something down where a device is going to be nullified before it gets to you, so you can throw one down, start defusing a bomb. You'll invariably see a bunch of grenades heading out your direction, and hopefully you'll you'll be able to, to knock those out. Obviously. Tried and trues like Intel suit and, and Mag Barrier are key, as well as active camo. Like using the Jetnair, setting a bomb to be active, and then hide in a corner, go camo, and you just look at the bomb until someone tries to disarm it. Your weapon selection is also just as important. And I think it even varies based on like the role you're playing. A lot of people just think, what can I do, or what ability should I pick to be effective for just me? But you can't think about that in, in bomb. It's much more of a team-oriented game mode. I would say the number one tip when you first get into bomb, be very careful with your life. You have one. I would say that's even more important than your skill selection and the weapon you use. You just have to remember, like, if I get an engagement and I lose, I'm done for that round, and I'm no longer helping my team. And if that still happens, communicate with your team. At least they'll know, like, hey, there are three people over here that I just ran into. So our plans for Bomb is to first release it just on the casual playlist. Uh, we want to get it out there, get people experience with it, and more importantly, get their feedback and see what they like, what they don't like, and make adjustments before we drop it into the ranked playlist. Players have been asking for a really exciting strategic mode, and I think we're gonna deliver it with this. In addition to Bomb mode, season two is bringing something the community has been asking for since day one, private matches. Your systems designer, Pat Price, to tell you more. Private matches are coming to X Defiant, and this will be the only place that you can set up a completely custom game for you and your friends. You'll be able to select the map, the mode, whether that be an unranked or ranked version. You'll be able to set how many players you want to play with in that lobby. And typically in X Defiant, you can only play 6v6 in unranked or 4v4 in ranked. In private match, you can completely customize this, whether it be a 1v1, a 2v2, or trios. You have that option to play how you want to play. Private match is something that we know many of our fans have wanted, and we're going to support it and have it evolve over time. Like many of our features in X Defiant, community feedback is really important so we can give players the best experience possible. We're really excited to see what our players do with this feature, whether it be grassroots tournaments, party games, or just playing with your friends. And this is the only place in Next Defiant that you'll be able to do that. We think this is a great tool for the community, really no matter who you are. If you're an aspiring pro player, a caster, a content creator, or just looking for a night of games with your friends, this is going to elevate the X Defiant experience, and we can't wait to see what the community does with it. You'll be able to play any of your No New Friends matches on any of X Defiant's 17 maps and the new map launching with Season 2, Waterfront. Here to give you a breakdown of the Waterfront map is our map expert, Layla. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Hope County with our latest map, Waterfront. Though it may not be the warm welcome you're hoping for. Hi folks, my name is Layla and I am the Global Maps Producer at Ubisoft San Francisco, supervising all of our incredible map teams as they work to bring your favorite Ubisoft franchises to X Defiant. The Ubisoft San Francisco map team hopes this new arena-style map will help you ring in a new dawn as you play game modes like Occupy and Hotshot. Hope County after the collapse is a colorful and dangerous place where the people you meet are just as likely to be friend as they are to be foe. In order to properly capture that feeling, we opted for a larger map size to give our teams the space they needed to pay homage properly. This meant leaning into a longer range playstyle, which gives you a chance to put your marksman and sniper rifles to good use. Just be aware, there could still be danger lurking around every corner, and that includes our new threat in Season 2, the Highwayman Faction. They have made themselves right at home in this skate park slash music stage area, adding their signature colorful flair and makeshift watchtowers pretty much everywhere. We also wanted to make sure we captured the beautiful natural landscape, so we chose a waterfront location to convey a sense of peace amidst the chaos. The post-apocalyptic backdrop offers the chance to explore abandoned structures and empty sheds that tell their own story. 
This is also the perfect playground to try out the highwayman's unique skills. Find clever spots to slap down a scrap turret to greet unwanted visitors. Or take your enemies by surprise when rounding a corner with your M79 grenade launcher aimed directly at them. Better yet, try firing off your Ultra in the skate park and watching the buzzsaws bounce around as you rack up kills. We had a lot of fun coming up with an exciting map to welcome the Highwaymen to X Defiant. I'd encourage you to soak up the beautiful environment around you, though I'm not sure the enemy team will give you the same courtesy. So enjoy the super bloom at your own risk. A big thank you again to the MAPS team at Ubisoft San Francisco for helping bring Hope County to X Defiant with the waterfront map. Now get out there and make Mickey and Lou proud, or they may just have to go rabbit hunting. Payback. In addition to Waterfront, Season 2 is bringing two additional maps, Signal and Air and Space, meaning soon X Defiant will feature 20 different maps. Now, to wrap things up for today, we're going to check in with community developer Zach Padgett, who's going to give you a look at what's coming down the road for X Defiant. Hey everybody, I'm Zach Padgett, the community developer on X Defiant. I hope you've been enjoying the special edition of X Debrief for our Season 2 reveal. Recently, we shared the year one roadmap for X Defiant, and let's dive into it. As you know from watching this video, we have a new faction coming with season two, the Highwaymen, as well as new weapons, a new mode, bomb that's been requested by many of the players. We also have map voting for rank and the beta launch of private matches, but it doesn't end there. In season three, you're getting a new faction, new weapons, new attachments, new maps that are honestly quite amazing, as well as a new mode and the full launch of private matches. There's also additional features coming in season three, such as prestige mode, prestige rewards, faction mastery, and oh yeah, kill cam. Then we'll have season four, which is gonna bring a new faction, weapons, maps, device, mode, weapon skin challenges, and more features to come. We can't wait for you to play all of these seasons, and so we actually have a special treat. This Friday, you'll be able to test out Season 2 on PC for three hours. We'll have more details on social media, but we can't wait to see what feedback you might have for Season 2. Now, let's watch some amazing clips that have been submitted by you, and we'll see you next time. Joined out. You're in the groove, Operator. 